Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source. I'm sure you saw I already uploaded the Steelers-Browns video for Thursday Night Football, NFL. Uh, but we also have college football this Thursday night. And college football has been kind to us so far this year. We're, we're up for plus 3.3 units on the year so far. In this video, we got Virginia Tech versus West Virginia on a Thursday night. I love it. Let's go. Welcome to The Source. The Source. Hey, get the sewers. All right, West Virginia on the road at Virginia Tech here. The line opened up Virginia Tech plus three. All the early action is on West Virginia. 71% of the early money as of Monday morning is on the Mountaineers. Yo, check this out. Look what happens though. We get an absolute flood of Virginia Tech money in and the books don't like it at all. Line drops on three, two and a half, two. We're now down to Virginia Tech plus one and a half and it may still be dropping as I'm recording this. So let's cap this game. If you subscribe to this channel, you already know the first step. We're running the numbers through the spreadsheet. According to the model, the line for this game should be Virginia Tech plus 4.93. So that's about a three point lean on the West Virginia Mountaineers here. All right, so let's break this matchup down and we'll start with West Virginia. Really tough to get a read on this West Virginia team right now. Um, who cares about the Towson win? They put up 60 points on Towson. Who cares about that? The first two games, I mean, they played Pittsburgh pretty well in the opening game. They covered plus seven and a half. They covered by the hook. And then they get beat by Kansas, which I would say is inexcusable. But Kansas looks pretty damn good all of a sudden. Kansas is 3-0. and Obviously, they're not an elite Big 12 team, but they're certainly not as bad as we thought they were. What concerns me most is the West Virginia defense. They are just 86th on the year so far in schedule-adjusted defensive efficiency. 86th for a Power 5 school is just unacceptable. If you think about it, there's only 64 Power 5 schools. So to be 86 in the FBS, that just speaks volumes as to what we've seen from the West Virginia defense so far. They are dead last in the Big 12, allowing 5.4 yards per play. They're also dead last in the Big 12, allowing 33.3 points per game. So yeah, the West Virginia defense needs to staple up. Meanwhile, want to know who's first in the ACC in defensive efficiency right now? Virginia Tech allowing just 3.5 yards per play. Now, I say that tongue in cheek kind of because they really haven't played anybody, but still schedule, uh, schedule adjusted defensive efficiency, Virginia Tech's 40th, 46 spots ahead West Virginia. So the analytics are saying, even if you incorporate the weaker schedule, this Virginia Tech defense still has outperformed West Virginia's defense. West Virginia also has to travel to Blacksburg here uh, for the first time since like 2013, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure I read that. Um, it's only about a 40 minute flight, so not the craziest travel in the world, but it's a short week. It's Thursday night game, only five days rest. Also, we're talking about West Virginia on the road here. West Virginia away from their home stadium. The West Virginia Mountaineers are just two and nine in their last 11 road games, and this dates back to the COVID year. Um, and that's been the case for West Virginia for a couple years now. You can trust them at home, can't really trust them on the road. I mean, that COVID year, they went 5-0 and at home and 0-4 and on the road. Like, such a clean split. Now, there are some positive talking points on this West Virginia football team, though. Notice I haven't mentioned their offense yet, because their offense with JT Daniels is actually looking kind of solid. They're listed at 44th in schedule-adjusted offensive efficiency. Obviously, a huge step up from their 86th ranking on the defensive end. But it's completely unfair for me to mention West Virginia's offense and the success they have. They've been pretty solid this year without also mentioning the Virginia Tech offense, which has shocked the shit out of me. Quarterback Grant Wells broke the Virginia Tech school record last week, completing 12 passes in the first quarter. This is not at all what I expected the Virginia Tech offense to look like this year. And this Virginia Tech defense, like, yo, is this real? Are we dreaming? What is going on? They've been lights out against both the run and the pass. Now, they haven't really played anybody, but they did completely lock down Boston College and Phil Djokovic, uh, was that last week? It might've been two weeks ago. Locked them down. By the way, Phil Djokovic, there was a lot of people that had him projected to be a first or second round pick in the NFL draft at quarterback. There's some people that think he's an NFL talent at quarterback. I'm not really one of them, but the fact that he had that kind of hype and the Hokies blanked them, something to be said for that. And that's my main question with Virginia Tech right now. Is this real? Like, did Brent Pry really bring his Penn State magic that Badass Penn State defense we saw last year. Brent Bry was the DC at Penn State last year. He's now the head coach of Virginia Tech, for those that didn't know that. But he, did he really show up 
and this defense just got better overnight. I like Brent Pry a lot. I was expecting it to take a year or two before we started seeing this program make progress though. And honestly, I think that's what our bet should hinge on here is do you believe in Brent Pry? Do you think he showed up in this Virginia Tech program, took an immediate step forward, which is possible. Could be the play calling, could be the game planning. Not all of college football is recruiting. If you think that, then you should bet Virginia Tech in this game. Now, if you think they haven't played anybody and this is fool's gold, if you th think Djurkovic is a fraud and Boston College sucks, which you very, very well may think, then you should probably lean towards West Virginia. Personally, I'm riding with Pry, man. I'm riding with Brent Pry. I loved Penn State's defense last year. I, I loved the hire for Virginia Tech. Um, and yeah, I think we're just seeing the progress a lot earlier than we thought. I think the Virginia Tech program is significantly better than it was last year. So I'm on tech, man. Give me the Hokies plus one and a half. Lock it in. If anything changes with this bet, I will definitely let you know on Twitter. So give me a follow there if you're interested. Um, also, if you want the full ticket that I do, which is bet of the day, top seven bets, underdogs of the day, parlays of the day. If you're interested in that stuff, make sure you check out kylekerms.com or download the Sauce Network app. Thursday night, we got three FBS games. We got an NFL game. We got some football on Thursday. I love it. Um, let's pick our spots. Let's make some money. I'll talk to you on Twitter.